a number of viewers raised a pertinent doubt about marginal rate of substitution and price ratio. Well, it goes like this. At point A, marginal rate of substitution of X for Y is greater than price ratio. How? At point B, marginal rate of substitution of X for Y is less than price ratio. How? At point C, marginal rate of substitution of X for Y is equal to price ratio. How? I sincerely feel I must do proper justice to their demand. I shall start like this. Let us take the price line and try to understand what is Px by Py. As I said already, the consumer's income is 100 rupees. Price of good X is 20 rupees. Price of good Y is 5 rupees. If the consumer spends his entire income on good X, he can buy 5 units. On the other hand, if he spends his entire income on good Y, he can buy 20 units of Y. LM is the price line. Now, how to measure the slope of the price line? Geometrical method such as delta Y divided by delta X, that is change in Y by change in X. In our case, Y changes from 0 to 20, hence delta Y is 20. X changes from 0 to 5, so delta X is 5. 20 divided by 5, we get 4. This is how we find the slope of the price line. We shall look at the same phenomenon from a different angle. What is the price of 5 units of good X in terms of good Y? It is 20 units. This is the same as delta Y. What is the price of 20 units of good Y in terms of good X? It is 5 units. This is delta X. Delta Y by delta X can also be understood as Px by Py. This is nothing but price ratio. Slope of the price line, in other words, the price ratio is 20 by 5, 4. Slope of the price line is the same throughout its length. It is a linear curve, hence uniform slope. How to interpret this? It means 4 units of good Y is equal to 1 unit of good X. This is the market rate of exchange. We shall now turn to indifference curve. This is a non-linear curve. It means its slope varies from point to point. Then how to measure the slope of an indifference curve? Take point A then draw a tangent to that point. Find the y-coordinate of the y-intercept. It is 30. Find the x-coordinate of the x-intercept. It is 3. Use the formula delta y by delta x. 30 divided by 3, 10. At the point A, the slope of the IC is 10. Slope is the same as marginal rate of substitution of x for y. How will you interpret this? At this point, consumer is willing to offer 10 units of good y in exchange for 1 unit of good x. In other words, marginal rate of substitution of x for y is 10. Similarly, we shall measure the marginal rate of substitution at point B. Draw a tangent to B. Y intercept of the tangent is 6. Its X intercept is also 6. 
delta y by delta x is 6 by 6, 1. Slope is 1. Marginal rate of substitution is 1. Its interpretation is consumer is willing to offer 1 unit of good y in exchange for 1 unit of good x. Thus, marginal rate of substitution of x for y falls as the consumer moves from left top to the right bottom of an indifferent curve. Now, I remove the tangents mainly to reduce the complexity. Let me integrate the price line in this graph. You know the slope of the price line at any point is 4. Go to point A. Compare marginal rate of substitution of x for y with the price ratio. Marginal rate of substitution of x for y is 10. Price ratio is 4. At this point, marginal rate of substitution is greater than the price ratio. Consumer cannot be in equilibrium. He substitutes x for y and moves down. At last, he reaches point C where indifference curve 2 is tangential to the price line. At point C, the price line itself becomes a tangent to the IC2. Hence, marginal rate of substitution of x for y is equal to the price ratio. The consumer is in equilibrium. We shall start from point B now. At point B, marginal rate of substitution of x for y is 1. Price ratio is 4. Marginal rate of substitution is less than price ratio. Consumer cannot be in equilibrium. He substitutes good y for good x and moves up. He reaches point C where IC2 is tangent to the price line. In this tutorial, my aim is to clarify the doubts about marginal rate of substitution of x for y and the price ratio. To know more about consumer equilibrium, view my tutorial on consumer's equilibrium in terms of indifference curve analysis. The link is given in the description. Siempre, baila, baila y goza. Mi bomba, Puerto Rique.